what is up, everybody? Thank you for checking out the Duty Man Homie Bro podcast, the DMHB pod. It's been a while. It has been a while. We're in a new situation. Got some new digs. If you're a new listener, we love you. Welcome to DMHB Radio. Moved out of the studio. The studio. Cheers. We got kicked out, actually. Uh, mm-hmm. Scott got us kicked out. Apparently, they have cameras everywhere. So, uh, yeah, we got kicked out. It's fine. A little hanky panky. Yeah. In the studio. With th- the cleaning lady. <laughs> With the cleaning lady. <laughs> she said she was 18. <laughs> <laughs> and she was 70. <laughs> <laughs> it was fine, man. She was a young 70. Of, uh, she look a day past 63. <laughs> yeah, man. She's flexible from that what I saw. box. I keep the cameras running. Does that uh, turn you on? That kind of turns me on. Like, if I look at old... Ladies, people, old ladies, and I'm like, Dude, what, you know the what I mean? fuck's the matter with you? Like, at one point, they were foxes, you know what I mean? And they're still, they still got that same fox mentality, you know? You just get older. That's looks what you just cut change. into them. You bring them back down. Yeah. You let them know. <laughs> <laughs> so what, like, so you, you see an old lady, and then you see old pictures of her, and then, like, that changes your that mind? Far. I think yeah. he's just walking to H-E-B, like. You know I wonder what? what this broad looked like 48 She's years ago. She's probably a freak, you know. She probably because they all look like old, nice, innocent ladies. But nah, they were. Everybody like, has a dark side. They were giving out the Nancy oh, Rings. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. At one point, Tigo, look at him. Be like, hey, remember this? <laughs> I, I could take three right now. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. 70. And I bet you there are. There's there's ones that are still down. That's like fucking oh, disgusting. I bet. I wish someone would just that fuck me right gross. now. Gross. You know what I mean? Man, they got to think about it. Your sex. You always sex is great. When do you stop wanting sex? You know what I was wondering? When do you stop jacking off? Never. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, uh, it's obviously okay. not forty. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I do it for my health. I'm worried about yeah. prostate cancer. You know, you gotta empty out the bag. I'm not doing it for pleasure. I'm doing it for my health. I'm dude. doing it for y'all. You guys do it. You do it for us. Yeah, I mean, like y'all. <laughs> oh, I was like, yeah. I'd like, be a fucking maniac if I was backed up. I do it to y'all. <laughs> um, like, nah, man. I mean, it's it's fun. what's funny is like we don't. We're not supposed to talk about it. I mean, like most regular civilians that aren't like comics and trying to make the jokes all the time, they don't really talk about it. But you got to think, like, they they do it, mm-hmm. you know? I started sets off, like, everyone in here has touched themselves dirty. Mm-hmm. And, it, and people started thinking about, it, like, damn, dude, there's a lot of nasty people in here. Yeah, dude. Yeah. But then again, are you, you're weird if you don't. Yeah, it's prudish. It's weird. Don't be a prude. Like the only person I can think of is AC Green. He played for the Lakers, and he's yeah. known for like being a virgin till he was like fifty. Yeah, and he's supposedly he said he never rubbed one out. Some people they they give off that vibe like I don't do it because it seems gay. Like I won't masturbate because that I'm not. I'm because that you're straight. a man pleasuring a man. Yeah, I'm that straight. <laughs> I don't even touch myself. You know, like I've heard that some people like some like Bible thumpers and stuff. I was like, no man, like. Oh, dude, that's dude, you the know worst. They have to. God, yeah. give, God gives a pass. You know? you know, like there's people out there who don't fucking jerk off because you got to be like a priest or some shit or something. Do you, you know think what they mean? Do, they, you think they really don't? Fuck no, they do. 100% they do. Like, is it like once every six or like once every you, three months? How are you going to take your a it's, job? Especially because like you that. know he nutted before he converted. Yeah, you got you got to pee. You got to poo. You got to come. Like, that's just PPC. <laughs> Taking care of business, man. I mean, you got TCOB. You just <laughs> TLC. <laughs> like, I wonder if, like, they're like, I'll do that to myself, but I won't watch porn. Porn makes it a sickness type uh, of thing. I was, I was imagine oh. all imagination today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's nice. wild. It's nice. Yeah. I have to do that every now and then. Like, like, stop looking at the phone. If you can't do it, you don't want it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if you can't do it on your own, <laughs> you don't want it bad you enough. You don't want it bad enough, you know? You still got it. Just go, <laughs> just go make another cup of coffee, dude. Like, what the, <laughs> what the hell, you know? Because, uh, yeah, there'll, there'll be some time, like, it's a good uh, hangover remedy for me. And uh, <laughs> you are hungover a lot. I am hungover a lot, you know? <laughs> oh, dude. But uh, are you strictly at home? I mean, I've done it other places besides home, but like privately, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, like bathroom at work. Yeah, this job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did it at my old job in the warehouse. How many times? Like twice. You fucking animals. Yeah, 
I just got to get it out. I had to get those demons out, dog. I was like, oh, you know, uh, it's yeah, going to be a problem <laughs> if it doesn't. You do it How me- do you medically. Do you, you're not do, I'm not doing it because I'm a creep. I'm just doing it like, all right, this is too distracting. I can't focus on my job. Let me just, let's get this out of the way. You got too much testosterone going on. And go around. back. Yeah, right man. Right now. I'm just like, oh. I, I, I've been on those uh, tea supplements, man, and they're doing their job. Ooh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Patty teas? That, that bag just. Patty high teas? Yeah. I'm about to bend wall my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have an exercise bike <laughs> or an exercise machine. Dude, he killed the dog like he killed his son. Oh, and then put a ten dollar bill that. over it. I forgot about Let that. Let him know yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah, piece of All right. So there was a there was a thing I was reading where a guy was like he gave a bunch of topics for uh, <laughs> for his WrestleMania poster that he was going to. Oh man! And one of the signs says Daniel tapped. Oh, that was his kid's name. Oh, damn. Jesus. <laughs> That's, Dude, that's fucking gold. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I I brought that. I brought that up because like I'm on YouTube every day and like I just go by suggested stuff. Ben Wah was recently like two two videos came up talking about uh, Ben Wah Hall of Fame and all that stuff. Did that like he's just not, happen? He's not in the Hall of Fame. But that, yeah. did that just come up? Like, no, why it's been it, a thing. Nah, it's, it's been for, how long has it been? Like ten years? Ten, yeah, over ten years time, for sure. Long time. Long time. Yeah, but, it had to be like we had a damn near twenty. No, they, they're not gonna let him in. WWE like just does they not, washed him. They erase it. They try not to say his name completely because they don't want it focused with their brand and stuff like that. They yeah, that makes them. sense. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so they're like no I mean, fame, nothing, none of that shit. They pretty much made him who he was. Watch the the Dark Side of the Ring one. It's a two parter. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I did. It, it was rough though. Man. Like, it was, like I knew of the story, and then like when I started watching that Dark Side of the Ring, I was like, "Damn, dude!" What sucks is like that Monday they're like, "Dude, we fucking miss our boy." Yeah, yo, they honored because him. they didn't know. Dude, we yeah. love you, bro. Yeah, they say, like, yeah, right, yo, they didn't bad. know the whole story. Listen, mm-hmm. when everything that came out, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> backtrack like a motherfucker. I mean, <laughs> They turn their back quick, yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Ben who? Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. It does work? What's that? I thought you said... Oh, no. That one works. This, this one, one doesn't, doesn't work. My fault. Yeah. Oh, nice. Now we're figuring out Getting all, out all the, the plugs and stuff, man. It kind of does look better with the one light right here, though. Yeah, man. It's, hey, a, look. it's like a mixture of God. Like... Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> God plus one? Faith plus one? Faith Faith plus one. Yeah. Plus one. <laughs> all right. If we were faith plus one... There was three of them, right? Yeah. yeah. Who, who, who? It was you? Tolkien. It was, I don't know yeah, why I call yeah, him Tolkien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Tolkien. <laughs> so, oh, you haven't seen the new ones? Uh uh-uh. uh It came out that his name's Tolkien after the writer. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, <They're> not Tolkien. Tolkien <laughs> <laughs> writer. Uh, Tolkien butters Cartman. What's so funny is that like I never like I never laughed so hard before. Well, no, that's not true. But like I've laughed so hard at that moment where like they like, you play bass. I was like, no, I don't. Like you, you're black. You have a bass at your house. And then he's like, damn it. Uh, My favorite South Park though is Scott Centerman must die. Oh, when he kills his parents. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't remember that one. Feeds them to him in a bowl of chili. He goes off. Yeah. <laughs> he gets uh, Dude, the horse at, to at try the and end, suck the dick. At the, end, <laughs> at the end of it, the guys are just like, "Dude, remind us never to fuck with Cartman again." Yeah. He's just licking up his tears. Mm, your parents taste so yummy. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. I can't, faith be- plus one. Wait, oh, I can't believe that's been going on for so long, man. Oh, South Park. And how are they still? S- they don't say like they're the best. They they get one, a pass like, every every couple words. And now they they kind of took out. They get a pass. They keep Comedy Central alive, honestly. And like uh, they do it like all in one week. It's like seven yeah. or six days to live or something like that. And, that's how uh, they stay. That's, they said that's how they stay up to date. But they can only do so few episodes with that. That's why their seasons are ten episodes. Yeah, that's yeah. got to be stressful. That's gotta be how many crazy. hours do you think they're putting in the, those 10 apps? A lot. That's a, I mean, they're like 20-hour day, days. Every day. Thing. Yeah, 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 it's writing. crazy. Writing, all the editing, graphic, whatever. Yeah. Would y'all want to be a writer, like in the writer's room? Like yeah. for comedy or movies or anything yeah. like that? Yeah. No, no, maybe like a sitcom. I, You know what's so funny? I never really considered that. I never considered that until after uh, my headlining set. I was like, I should write something, you know. Yeah, I should write a. I don't know why. I don't. After that, because like, I start like, with a skit. I feel like I have some ideas about like sitcom shows and stuff, and like little, little short films ideas and stuff. But that just popped off right after that. I guess because I was just like in the next. Okay, like what's next? 
you know, what to do next type of thing. Um, so, yeah, I might start writing. I'm brainstorming. It's all up here. I just haven't wrote it out yet. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you do the crying game? Like, <laughs> <Jay and> Tyler <laughs> Bob? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, dude, like, I, I never thought about being, like, a writer. And then especially now, like, with, like, the whole writing strikes and stuff, it's like, we need one man. Why? Why Step Why up. would it, we do that? They never get credit, though. Like, you know what I mean? The writers never get credit. Like, a lot of people who don't, like, you know, realize the comedy, they're just like, oh, that show's funny. But, like, no one ever brings up the writer. But, like, you know. Yeah. They have to get famous again. <clears throat> yeah. It's like, like how everyone sucks uh, Conan off. Yeah. Like The Simpsons season one through four, two through five, whatever it is. Yeah, it was it, that's of, the best. It was a lot of Conan. Name another fucking writer. Yeah. So You know what I mean? Dana Gould. Yeah. For the, during Conan's time, but you're also oh, a comedy know. head. Yeah. yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The average person doesn't. They're not like, gonna have no fucking idea. The average person doesn't who doesn't follow comedy doesn't appreciate the writer. You know, uh, I. Or I don't want to get. Are. I don't want the celebrity of it. Not that I, I'm getting anywhere close to the celebrity, even though we were, were local, on TV. We're local. What uh, local yeah. laugh experts? Yeah, your boy. <laughs> Fuck you, Mr. Garnett. <laughs> we were on Ken said Five. Never. <laughs> Good, uh, great day. Great day, I say. We we made it greater. And the dance party. <laughs> oh, I didn't mention that. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't about tell anybody that, that either. Yeah. yeah, you ain't gonna catch me slipping. <laughs> uh, but if you hear it, you hear it. <laughs> yeah, dude. But no, I think it airs in two weeks. No. It aired Friday. It aired last it. Friday. Good job, boys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Great, great fucking job, boys. Sorry. But it's it's fine. It, it's out there. I don't like. Shout out, Derek. I've gotten a few. I saw you on TV, uh, but I haven't got like the bumps. Haven't uh, like I. I got a few uh, new friends or new followers on IG, but not that many. Not as much as I thought would happen. I, I got, got more bots. I got a Ken's Five bump. I think I got a show. Did you? Yeah. Lol. Cool. That's dope. You on the twentieth, twenty seventh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm hosting that one. Nice. Yeah. yeah. On the twentieth. Sweet. The homegrown. Yeah. Ken's Five bump. I guess it is doing something for <laughs> us, man. <laughs> You know, pod got a couple of followers. Yeah, dude, it's yeah. wild. Like because of they st- did not error fucking a, IGs. A couple followers, <laughs> but they didn't put our IGs. They only put yours up because you put IG clips up. The clips I sent them, yeah, it had my IG stamped on there already. But uh, no mention at mall underscore liquor underscore. Go ahead. We did uh, do a good job promoting upstage. Because uh, that was all the thing. It says, like, contact Upstage. Here's Upstage's phone number. Because we did film at Upstage. I don't know if you saw it or not. Uh, Shout out, Spitties. Yeah, Upstage let us film there. Um, and that, it was it was fun, man. It, it was, was, fun. It was I, a good interview. It was an, it was an hour and a half, an hour and a half worth of interviews that got uh, chopped down to three, minutes, three w- minutes, which is fine. I think I like, I like the editing that he did. Uh, but like the whole time before it came out, I was like so nervous. I was I like, know, "I know, I you are tripping." We were no shitting reason. bricks. Everybody was shitting bricks because like we're I like, "What? Not. What did we say?" <laughs> I got. I went heavy with the cheese. I'm not gonna lie. I went heavy with the cheese. I was like, "Comedy, it's more spiritual and emotional <laughs> than in it." You know, I was like really stupid with it because I wanted to impress people or whatever. Uh, and then I was like, "Bullshit." <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it came out pretty good. It was, it was interesting. It was, it was fun. It was fun, you know. But uh, I, and I thought, like, damn, man, I, I can't go walk the streets or nothing. Everybody's gonna <laughs> notice me. And now they, that big joke, dog. <laughs> yeah. Now I just get like that whole like, you look familiar. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take that, I guess. You're not Kleto. He's not Kleto. Rodriguez. Not Kleto. Yeah. Nobody cares where I'm at. You know? <laughs> Dude, I don't want to shit on him. <laughs> 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 I just got that, bro. I didn't realize how like short he was. Yeah, man. Uh, the that ca- camera had ten ten inches. Ten pause. inches. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I've I've no I've I never <laughs> I never met him. I, oh no, that's not true. I met him at uh, Danny Eagles' birthday party, but it was just kind of like a like hi, nice to meet you, and go away type of thing. But um, I he was like, go give me a beer, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did post a thing because a while back at Larry Garza's show at Upstage, R.I.P. Larry Garza, uh, we, he did like a comeback show, headlining show and stuff. And so afterwards, I was taking pictures. We were taking pictures and stuff. And I went to go stand by Larry to take a picture. And I, I'm i assuming it was Larry's uncle or something. He just goes, is that Cleto? <laughs> like he thought I was. And like, so Larry's like, no, that's my friend Patrick. It's not Cleto. I was like, damn, dude, do I? Because like, I was pretty big at that time. And, uh, well, I'm big all the time. <laughs> uh, you were husky then. I was huskier then. I think I may have been, uh, I'm fatter now than I was then. Anyway, 
Uh, I just I posted on Facebook. I was like, I don't know who needs to hear this, but I am not Cleto Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody got like a good laugh, and I don't know who it was, but somebody decided to tag Cleto, mm. <laughs> and I don't know how he took that. Blown up. It wasn't. Spot. A, it was an insult. It was just. It was funny that somebody thought I was Cleto. That's yeah. it. I wasn't trying to be insulting about it. I yeah. wasn't trying to like talk shit. You know, I mean, like it was funny. Yeah. More than anything. Shout out. But you never know how people will take it. And then uh, you never know if they're going to be a judge in a comedy competition. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how comments and Facebook stuff might uh, come back to bite you in the ass. Um, but yeah, shout out. So fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good, man. That comedy competition. I, I actually got, I didn't make it into San Antonio, but I did get invited to do the Plano one. Man. And I was oh, like, yeah. I was like. As uh, a judge. As a judge. Or our participant. Oh, uh, the oh, news. That's yeah. right. We are. Did you ask how much it pays? Ten five bump. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, because like, I, I, I went. I was like, uh, yo, I just, I'm from San Antonio. I just participated in the San Antonio one. So thanks, but no thanks. Mm. And he, he goes, oh, I thought he did that whole like, uh, oh, I meant to send it to somebody else. Hollywood. <laughs> like, oh, uh, there's somebody else in Plano that has your same name, and I didn't look at your little picture. So little picture. <laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. And I was like, uh, cool, man. Yeah, like uh, very professional of you. <laughs> so uh, put your dick out. Like, put your dick away. <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking forget. What the fuck? Warren Greed over Pat Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, shout out Warren Greed. Warren hey, Greed. Cleto, out, buddy. Cleto, if you watch this. Listen, as TV brethren, just put us on a show, dude. That's all we ask. Book us. Uh, but wasn't he on a different channel? We're, oh, we're Ken's Five, bro. Oh, fuck. We're, we're, K, Ken's, we're K, Ken's Five. K5. K5B. Yeah. Listen, guys, we're all about love, you know? We're ever since. I mean, don't get nah, it twisted. Fuck I'll, I'll, W-O-A-I. So they do a story <laughs> on me, fuck them. Yeah, don't get it twisted. I'll Fox, go, fuck you. I'll go wherever. <laughs> well, I'll go wherever. Channel? But as of right now, I'm, I claim Ken's fire, bro. Yeah, dog. To the death, or to the next one, you know? K5. Whichever comes first. Whichever comes first, The yeah. next offer, the death. Yeah. K5. But come, come, come. K5B, bro. Yeah. K5 till I die. Come get me before I get my Ken's five tattoo, you know? Because <laughs> once that happens, that's like pretty much permanent or whatever. <clears throat> uh, but uh, no, I think, what was Kleto? I think Kleto was on Channel 4. I don't remember. W- yeah, I do remember the Where's Kleto thing. So yeah, like, so it's just... Naturally, we're just enemies. You yeah, know? it's fine. Maybe it's been. This is a story as old as time. Bloods and Crips. <laughs> yeah, dude. Palestine, Israel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kenton, W O I. Nah, man. What if it was like that? Like, like the Anchorman scene. <laughs> this is Fox News. <laughs> this is our territory. <laughs> yeah. Let me get a beer. They have to share studios. I'll take it home. Uh, yeah, man, dude. Oh, that's that's <laughs> I know. That's why I was like, "Do you still have a beer?" Uh, but not because of comedy. Because of comedy, I've <clears> been <throat> in the San Antonio Current. I had the fantastic damage write up, and now <laughs> I've been. What the hell is this? Spiked pineapple, eight so, percent. Uh, some train. some poor Dang shit. It. Uh, and then, uh, due to man, homie bro, we were on Ken's five. Um, what's next for me? Hopefully, a successful GoFundMe campaign. <laughs> uh, I'm a celebrity now. No, I'm good. I'm just chilling with this. Um, yeah, man. It is cool though. Like, I was really nervous. Like, out of everything that I've done in comedy, I've never been more nervous about how that uh, Great Day essay interview was going to come out. I don't know why y'all tripping. You know? Uh, I got a rep to protect. We were you know? also thinking about. The shit I say, like on the pod, like, but that's that's fun. It's funny, like you know. You can, yeah, like, but you think what those are the do, kind of people apologize for jokes? Do you think those are the kind of people that watch, like that listen to us, or the kind of people that watch Great Day essay? No, yeah, you know what I mean. A dude, man, homie, bro, fans fights. aren't morning people. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, God, no. <laughs> we're night. We're out. the ten and up club, bro. Right? We're party animals. We're mover and shakers at night. Uh, Shout out Lowe, shout out Aaron. Shout out BJ. Shout out Dan Zam. Keep sending me videos, please. Shout out the dude whose mom works with my mom that said it was dope. <laughs> God, fuck. 
Shout out everyone who bought shirts. Oh, we got more shirts. Got more Shirt shirts. Alert. Backed by popular demand or, or uh, accident. Or an accident. <laughs> we'll never or tell. Or a mishap we'll, at the printing press. We'll place. never tell. Uh, no, no, no. no I'll, we'll tell. Uh, <laughs> I sold out of my, my, the, my hand shirt, the PC hand shirt. Uh, so I, I re- reordered those. They pressed up the DMHB shirts. And uh, because it was a mess up, I was like, yeah, I'll still take those. What are you going to do with them? Throw them away? And they're like, yeah, we're going to throw them away. I was like, well, don't do that. <laughs> so we have more uh, DMHB shirts. You ever think of uh, on PC? New merch idea. On PC. Yeah. Uh, the next merch, one, if, if these move, and I'm really bad. Like, I don't take them with me everywhere. I didn't take them last night. Yeah, last yeah. night was not a good show to sell merch No, it was not. Uh, but we have them, man. They're limited edition. I think the next one I'm going to run is probably the, the, the Balco Core logo. Shout out uh, Will Mosley, though. We'll see what's up. Oh, uh, the Tiger? Yeah. I love the Tiger. Keep it, it moving. It was I love just, the Tiger, too. It was, such, it was a fun show. <laughs> I, I, I knew, because I'm trying to work on some new stuff, so I, I knew I'm like, I didn't write my set down, didn't plan anything out as usual I do. I had no game plan. I was just like, let's just, just let me at him. Let me at him. And uh, so I just wanted to riff. But they were so talkative, dude. Yeah, that's funny. They would not stop talking. I was like, why would you pay? Like... We get that like at the free showcases that we do. Like they're they're more behaved than that they were last night. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why people will pay money, an entrance fee, to go to a show to not pay attention to the show. And it was bad. Like after everything, like any pause, they she there's this one girl in particularly who would interject. I'll say this, and because she says. It's because of that, or it's because of this. Oh, or why would you do this? Yeah. After everything, I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, sure. I had to. It's Damn. funny. I actually planned shit out and ate a bag. So, <laughs> dude, ate Jakey a bag. Hostility. That's I why. had to bite the. I do. I took the bullet. I was like, please, whenever all the the other comics come up here, shut the, shut fuck, the up. fuck up. I was like, don't <laughs> talk, please. Like, fuck. And that didn't stop him. <clears throat> <laughs> no, man. It and did not. What? What? But sucks Pat handled is, it. Like, because well. I could see. Uh, because 50 people max in that room, so I could see that people were getting upset just as much as I was at the other people talking. Yeah. So I had to do something. You know, we all had to like call it out. Uh, because usually it's like a it, smaller room, is it that much louder? Yeah. 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 Like, at LOL, you can hear it in a distance, but yeah. It, you know what I mean? Yeah, and she wasn't even. She was saying it low, like low tone. You still hear oh, it shit. loud as fuck. It's like piercing. You, you're you can't whisper. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was like that like they were like just like non-stop talking and it was funny like one of them like she she got up to go get i was like where, where are you going you know she's like oh to get water i was like oh yeah talking makes you thirsty huh <laughs> 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 all that talking makes you thirsty doesn't it uh did everyone laugh yeah some people <laughs> laughed it was it, I'll that, tell you, that's a solid hit i'll tell you this uh i was uh afraid uh for my life <laughs> like anytime i said something i was like all right they gotta come boys uh, or girls they gotta come uh boys and girls what are you oh. talking about uh yeah you uh, thought they were gonna turn on you yeah for sure at or any, were you speaking reckless at any moment well i mean it wasn't nice you know nobody wanted to be told shut the fuck up you know like in a certain way um that's what's wrong with and then country. and then here's another problem too this is why i don't do crowd work i, I mean I, I, it's very rare that i'll do crowd work is like i have very bad hearing so i could hear the direction the general direction is coming from but mm. i can't pinpoint exactly who mm. and you kind of need that with crowd work and stuff so somebody actually came up to me after the show she's like hey you got mad at me and it wasn't me just so you know, I was like, oh, my bad, <laughs> my bad. But she's like, it was a person behind me. I was like, well, you can see how I made that mistake. People you know? don't forget. <laughs> Patty drive by, uh, <laughs> but, child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody gets it, you know. Uh, Stray bullets, dude. <laughs> oh man. But what's funny? What's so funny is my that they were names. they were listening, they were paying attention because. You know, I asked him to shut the fuck up, and then I asked him, like, I was like, what, nobody's going to say anything? And she goes, you asked us not to speak. I was like, shut the fuck up, dude. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean. You know how this works. This isn't your first fucking comedy show. like. But she said it in that way, like, you said we couldn't speak. (laughs) Oh, she's trying to be smug? Yeah, dude, hella smug with it, hella passive-aggressive with it. (laughs) So I was like... What's the deal with domestic violence? <laughs> I, uh, I got a pop. Yeah, I got a pop, uh, which is funny. Um, 
But yeah, man. Anytime after I have like a show like that, I'm just like I, I stand out. I stand outside so everybody could see that I'm at. It's like, like if you want to talk about it, we could talk about it. But like other than that, damn like, Pat, I'm 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 just here ready for you to apologize, really. Because <laughs> people do that. People will apologize after the fact. Yeah. And I was like, well, if you feel bad about it now, like you know, then you should have known You're that in the wrong. It, you you were wrong. Yeah. You know, you were wrong. You pissed people off, and uh, yeah, but. That person, uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's just gonna happen. That's just gonna happen. But it was still, it was still kind of fun. I, I got some new stuff out. I got <clears> st- <throat> stuff that fucking bombed so bad. I was like, damn. Right. <laughs> that was a fun show. Um, Interesting show for sure, dude. I think I'm a fat man trapped in a skinny man's body. I think I have sleep. It tells like you're running a bit right now. <laughs> I think I have sleep apnea. Oh yeah. You know if you have it, dude. I've been waking up and my like mouth has been like super fucking dry. Mm-hmm. Does that happen to you? No. No. Does that happen to anybody? No. Somebody a while back told me that they think if I, I have drink too much, obstructive sleep apnea. I don't know. I need to look into it. Yeah. Or we're just so sleeping. But you have to go through a whole thing, right? If they diagnose you, see, and that's what I, you did a sleep study, right? I did. No, I did one out of the three nights. But you had to go somewhere, right? Yeah, you crashed there. I heard that somebody uh, g- gave them like this whole bag to take home. My show was over ten years ago. Yeah, dude. So I might, I might do that. I, I, Maybe not. It's not that bad, but like, I just figured I'm supposed to be tired all the time. Is, aren't we all tired all the time? Isn't that a thing? But that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Are, aren't we all tired all the time? Depends on what I'm under. <laughs> I just thought that's what life like. What is normal feel like? What is normal supposed to be? We we like, won't. I don't think you're supposed to be in pain. We won't. Well, how do you know? What if pain is normal? But it's not. You understand what I'm saying? Would, sore, there's I a mean, reason why you feel pain because it's not normal. Well, I know it could be like if you go to the gym, you're always sore. It hurts. It's painful, but that means it's working. It's good. You should feel like that because that's growth and progression. You know. And your, <laughs> I don't know. Pain is growth. Because if but, you want to be a better you. <laughs> <laughs> But what I'm saying is, like, how do we know what good sleep is? How do we know what good oh, yeah, yeah, thoughts yeah. are? How do we know that, like, like, Bro, like you any, pay someone. They do it for you. They but, tell you what it is. No, uh, but I'm saying, like, as in, in the general population, like, what is normal? Who is the one normal person that we should all be achieving to to feel like or think like? You know the what I mean? Rock. You think so? I, don't, I, think, I think that's abnormal. Maybe dude. Barack and The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Barack. <laughs> I'm trying to get his bod, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to be like Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> What's his uh, workout regimen, dude? Um, he quit Barack smoking. Says... Quit smoking cigarettes. I'm trying to quit smoking cigarettes, but it's not going good. You want to smoke a cigarette? Nah. <laughs> I can't smoke when the sun's out. That's one thing. Yeah, that's what the freaks come out. Yeah, I only smoke at night. I think. Yeah, it's better. It's more romantic at night. Yeah, dude. What the fuck does that mean? It's it's you know you romanticize the cigarette more at night than you do in the day. Did the sleep apnea for you? Like did that just happen or did you like? Dude, the past few like weeks I've been noticing like I just wake I'll like wake up. What time and, are you going to bed? Are you going to bed later? No, like I'll go to sleep like around ten, eleven. Are you eating later? I think I always sort of because like now I'm on the new schedule. Like I'm gonna be getting out late at night. Sometimes at work, so I'm gonna eat at night, like nine, ten, like you know what I mean, and then obviously I'll just go home, shower, go to bed. So, uh, yeah, dude, I just noticed like I'll wake up at three in the morning sometimes, like my mouth would be fucking dry, and I like wake up and I'm like, dude, if I'm waking up at three, it's just to pee. Do I have sleep apnea? I don't know. I'm gonna look into it. I, I have sleep apnea, and I don't think that's a thing. You have sleep apnea? Yeah, fuck yeah, I have it. What's the matter with you? Do you have it too? I'm pretty sure, but it's not like that bad. What is sleep apnea then? What is snoring like, in your sleep? You're not supposed to snore. You're not supposed like, and you stop like, breathing shit, like, for right a little bit. Right here and right there is like blocked, so it's stopping the air from coming in and out of your your lungs. I've broken my nose twice. Do you think that? I was gonna say that I didn't. I was trying to figure out a way to not offend you. Like, why, we got big nostrils, yeah. so like breathing. We Although gotta, difficult because of our, our <laughs> weight, is not difficult because we got a clear airway. I, well, I, I doubt it. Yeah. Well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah. Your your nostrils more. are very thin. They're very but small. Look up. 
They got a good size. Look at those fucking honkers. No, but he has to stretch them out to get big. Like when you're at sitting, I'm pretty sure you don't flare your nostrils in your sleep. You know? <laughs> you're like, get in here. Hey, get that mouthpiece. There's a mouthpiece you can just buy. There is a mouthpiece. I tried doing that. And, I, I, uh, I, I was thinking it out. I was finding it in weird places. <laughs> in the morning, because I, I, I mean, I'm asleep. I'm just taking it. I'm just throwing it somewhere. Uh, putting it somewhere. Yeah, I tried doing the mouthpieces for a little because I was grinding my teeth Urgh. and uh, I wake up all hurting and shit. Uh, and then I just stopped doing it. So, I could convince myself to just stop. So, <laughs> sn- <laughs> you know, so you knock it off. Yes. <laughs> all right. So snoring is sleep apnea. Yeah, it's not good. Not necessarily, but like, I mean, there's a little bit of snoring, but like loud fucking wall shaking snoring. Oh. Uh, it could be signs of it, but uh, the apnea, the sleep apnea, is like when you stop breathing for moments. Oh shit! Like you, you wake up like. <gasps> I think I've woken up like that one time. Yeah, you would know, bro, because you'd be fucking scared to death. <laughs> I think I have. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I think I have, have you ever like you you ever see in movies or a TV show like when people like wake up from nightmares and they jump up like <gasps> you know yeah. like have you, I've I've done that once in my life very recently. I've fallen um, once. Like I've That's I've, it. I've woken up like twitching like oh. yeah. But never did I go like, don't go in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. Uh, until recently, once, <laughs> like my wife gets so pissed off. My wife has no like if she, if I wake her up, oh man, she fucking hates me, you know. Yeah. She has no patience for any of that bullshit. Mm-hmm. She's not like, are you okay? She's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 but one time, very re- Are you okay? <laughs> very recently, I, I did that where I jumped up and I was like, ah! <laughs> and she's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> I'm like I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Something was very scary. <laughs> uh, Dude, I've done that. Have you ever had um, sleep paralysis? No, I don't think <clears throat> so. I've had sleep paralysis, and if you look on the internet, everyone has like this very same similar story, like where they see like a figure. Or um, yeah. Oh my god, dude! I'm I'm waking up like I just my eyes are open, and it feels like someone's stabbing me in my chest. Like the thoughts going through my head, I was like, oh, someone just broke in my house. Someone just broke into my mom's house. <laughs> it found my room, and, like stabbed me in the chest, and I'm dying right now because I can't move. I'm in shock. It's weird. And then, like, I just see, like, this shadowy figure of a hand, like, run over my face. Damn. And then I just see it in the corner for, like, a long time. And then I just, I guess I just fell back to sleep eventually. And a lot of people have a similar story, like, online. It's kind of like ghosts and aliens, you know? I've seen like, the thing, like, the Slender Man or whatever. Yeah. But that's about it. You've seen him? Yeah. What? I thought he kills you if you see him or something like that. What's that story? No, he chases you for sure. Oh, he chases you? <laughs> yeah. I ain't running for shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm too fat. Fuck around and catch an asthma attack. Uh, my, my, uh, I, I'm not in complete darkness. My room is not, like, there's some light. Like, we have, like, a big window, and we have street lights that come in and stuff. Okay. So I'm never in complete darkness. <laughs> I can't sleep in complete darkness. No. No. Too God, scary? No. Too scary, dude. <laughs> I, I need noise. Country I fucks need, with me. I need some noise. Oh, white, really fucks with me. A white noise is nice, like the fan or something. Like, I need a fan on Oh, me. like a siren? <clears throat> no. Fuck, or a horn? Like No. No, nah, that's annoying. I could, I could no. sleep, because like, uh, we're right by the train, too, so I hear the train every now and then and stuff. That's got to be fucking peaceful. I can't... Uh, I can't sleep... Like, if I can't see my hand in front of me, I start freaking out. I get claustrophobic. Hmm. Because, like, you can't tell the distance. Okay, the wall's so far away. You know, this is so far away. I have to be able to oh, see stuff right. at all the time. We slept together one time, and you left the TV on. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Because I'm going to see you coming. <laughs> <laughs> and not like that. Pause. I'm going to see you try to rape me. <laughs> when you try to get in my bed, I'm going to see it. <laughs> I can go back Finish and forth. get the fuck off your bed, dude. <laughs> do, you, do you have everything off? I can go back and forth. I can turn everything off or I could fall asleep with something. I usually have my live, like Ted Lasso on right lately. In the new spot, it's completely off. It's dark. It's But I have the fan going. I have the ceiling fan and I have a fan on me. So it's like noise. But yeah, there's no TV or noise in the background. Is it comfy in here? Comfy? Yeah. As far as? Temperature? 
I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sweating, but I sweat regardless. Yo, put it down. Put it down. No, that's fine. I'm, I have to put down one. I'm good. It's good. 72 right. is good. So I, th- I usually keep it at 78. Jesus. Bro, I ain't running up that bill, baby. That's what CPS tells you. 78 is like, go fuck yourself, yeah, bro, dude. What? Yeah. Dog, that's what my fucking aunt, yesterday I visited my aunt and like, it was like, an, we had an 80 year old birthday party. Ugh. And like you walk in and it's just seventy eight degrees. There's so many people. It was so fucking. See, now hot. that's the uncomfortable. Is the a lot of people? It's just me here, you know. Yeah. yeah, so much heat in that room. Eighty. Yeah, eighty years old, Donna. That's who. Shout out Donna. That's my aunt's mother in law. Was she fucking walling out? Huh? <laughs> no. Yeah, Is that the one that brought tits? up? Like, oh, I bet she fucked. <laughs> 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 that first time that, that you brought come out, boy. <laughs> yeah, because you opened the podcast like you ever see this old lady just like imagine <laughs> oh, like how shit. bad that got down, dude. Oh, like how bomb yeah. ass that pussy was. Oh my god, <laughs> this is called a callback. <laughs> What's weird is that she was wearing a pin of her. God, I hope they don't see this. In the forties, she, she was wearing a pin of her like as a thirteen-year-old swimsuit oh, model. That's what she said. She was a swimsuit model at, at 13. 13. Yeah. Man, times were different back then, huh? She said a bunch of older dudes were hitting on her. I'm in the wrong decade. <laughs> Cuz back then that was the that was a <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, I'm more of an old school type of soul. <laughs> but but yeah, dude. I like things the way it was before I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Thirteen years old. So uh, two piece. Uh, I didn't. It was black and white. It was hard to tell. <laughs> Bro, it, was, it was like the seventies. The pen was black and white. No, she's eighty years old. So forty years. Subtract, ago. like 20, 30, That's fifty. No, sub- eighty. She's eighty. She had a picture of her when she, oh, was, she was thirteen. So subtract like seventy, <laughs> like years ago. What Bro. time was that? Forties. Fifties. Oh yeah, my dad's 1960. Not good at math. They're full covered up, and does she have one of those uh, those cover helmets or whatever they're called? The water water <laughs> the helmets. Water yeah. She had one of those too. <laughs> no, that's hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but if they made her wear like the navy one in that movie with Robert De Niro, uh, <laughs> she has to take ten steps. <laughs> On oh, this suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, cook it now, Men cook of it. Water, yeah. I want my ten paces. <laughs> His nose starts bleeding. Oh, oh they went against each other. Yeah. Men of honor. Yeah, Men yeah, of yeah. Honor. yeah. Classic. You just said that. Oh, did you? Yes. Ah, you didn't mean that. You didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, dude. Nothing like a good old racist Robert De Niro. He's the best. He's good at it, man. He's one of my favorite. It's races. acting. Bro. <laughs> no, he only he only bags black chicks. Yeah, but not black guys. Yeah, but I mean, you can't have one without the other. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, Shout out all our black kings and queens. Dude, yeah. I got pulled. I got pulled over yesterday. Did you use the? Uh, Excuse? I wanted to. I thought right. about it after the fact. Like, hey, do you know? That's, uh, like the first thing, that's like the first thing that would have popped in my What's the excuse? Hey, hey, you know the excuse. Evidence room. Oh. Um, yeah, I was doing 81 and a 60. Do you know who I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, listen, uh, I don't know if you knew. <laughs> would have been better if you were doing 69 and a 40. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I got a ticket, two hundred and eighty-one bucks. Two hundred eighty-one for what speeding? Um, yeah. That's how much it cost. Eighty-one and a sixty. Is Jeez. it because it was twenty over? Yeah, I thought I was gonna get. I thought because he's like, if there's any more, it's excessive or it's like aggressive driving or something like that. Considered something. And I was like, all right, man. Damn. You dude. do drive kind of reckless though. You drive like you don't have some new shit. It's wild. Like, I, would, I think you've gone so long without having new shit. Like, it's 281. Like, bro, I'm not going 60 on 281. It's so easy to get up to 81. Yeah. It's I'm, so on 281, easy. like Stone Oak? Yeah, like going north, like to Bulverde. Oh, no. I mean, I go there a lot. I only do 70. No, fuck that. It's so, I got a heavy foot. <laughs> no, my truck only does 70 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to keep I'm it. I'm cutting it. Yeah, nah, dude. I like going fast. Like I'm not really fast. a fast driver, man. I've never gotten a speeding ticket. Hmm. Now I got like motion, uh, like not turn, using your blinker when you switch lanes or something. Because like it's that. nobody's business where you're going. Yeah, 
No, I have got speeding tickets. It's always like in places where I'm not going to drive back and like and like uh, fight it. I've never got one in Bear County. Never got a speeding ticket in Bear County. Damn. Last one I got was in West Texas. You got a warrant in West Texas? <laughs> no, he just pays it and I moves just, along. I just pay it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, you can go and fight it, but you got to go in mm-hmm. to dispute it or whatever. And I was like, I'm not driving away the fuck to out To some there. municipal court in yeah. West Texas, some like, small-ass West dude. Texas town. Like, like I'll, just, I'll just pay it. That's how they get me. Some old judge is like... No. <laughs> yeah, like any, any You're interrupting my fishing, boy. Yeah. <laughs> any ticket that I got in Bear County, I've always like. I've, there's only been a couple, but I would fight them and get get off. Get off. You really gonna give me this still reserve bullshit? Chugger. Fuck no, I'm not drinking that. That's probably gonna make my stomach hurt. Your stomach's hurting, hurting. Spiked, spiked pineapple. Yeah. This is like poor shit. Like I remember buying still reserve. Like to eleven, taking that night train. Yeah, like. Three when you got three dollars, but you're a fucking alcoholic. Three dollars, I got you like three or four of them. You ever yeah. do that? You ever like what's the like the cheapest beer like King Cobra? Poor moment, King Cobra. King Cobra, that was yours. The malt liquor, King Cobra. Yeah. Oh, I did OE. Malt I did OE for a I while. Thought malt liquor. I remember the first time I got into like Mickey's or something. Like, Mickey's with orange juice was the shit. Yeah, what they call uh, Brass Monkey? They had that right. I think that's what they call Brass Monkey, orange juice, and Mickey's. Damn. Which is really good. It's really fucking good. Get the little, like, it's like surprisingly good. Those fat ones and shit. I think that's what gave me diabetes. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. We found the root. Yeah. Moss. It could have been anything, really. But uh, it wasn't the 12 packs of crushing sodas. <laughs> I used to do that. I told Jake I did that. Like, I would, I would, like, I drink beer, I would drink soda like that. That's wild to me, yeah. dude. That's so wild. In Bro, one, I'm three in. Like, you would have had three sodas by now, too? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too, much, it's too much sweetness for I'm me, thirsty, man. man. Too much I don't sugar. do that anymore. I don't. Too much I, sugar. I, I rarely have a soda. Uh, I drink one this morning. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I call myself. What well, was my wife's fault? My wife always has soda. They're like, stop having soda in here. Like, I'm going to fucking drink it. I drink soda. Oh, it's Sunday. I'm trying to start to do that on Sunday. I've been trying to quit soda for years, but I'm like, all right, Sunday, I'll drink soda. One sheet day. Because a nice, like, Tacos with a big red or a uh, Coke. I'm a DP guy. A nice, like, you know. I love a good DP. I bet you do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, man. I'm fun trying. Fun fact uh, Dr. Pepper was the first soda made, and it was made in Waco, Texas. Yeah. Mm. You're welcome. Fun you know what fact. else happened also in oh, Waco? Uh, yeah, dude. Have you, did you watch that shit? David Crash. About Crash? A few things, yeah. I saw Waco. The, no, the show with that dude from Friday Night Lights, Riggins. Mm. It was an FX show. He, uh, did it had uh, with John Leguizamo? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I saw that. Okay, one. I saw that one. I need to finish. I was listening to a podcast about the Dave David Crash. It's weird how these guys like, dude. I would love to be a cult leader. I mean, we've talked about cults before on this shit. Yeah, but like, I don't know if I'm like, but the shit you pull is like so brazen and ballsy. Yeah. Oh, this dude it has to be exhausting. Yeah. He played David Koresh. Oh, nice. And uh, like, hey, you like you? I'm, I'm. That's not your wife no more. That's mine. It's ours. No, <laughs> she you can't touch her. House. Oh, really? If you're in the crib, no. Yeah, doesn't he just fuck everyone else's wives? Yeah. Oh, and that's that's what he preached. I thought they were sharing. No. Like, how can you convince him of that? Like, that would be like that would. Cucks. Yeah, that would be Cold like cucks. Cucks. okay. I'm not. Davey's a fucking idiot. I'm not into this. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Like I love, I love Davy. I love Jesus and everything, but I gotta draw the line with that. Yeah, shout out to Colt Content. <laughs> Was that Davies? Nah, White Cotton. Oh. Um, I love the Tiger. <laughs> but we talked about it before. Like, if if what happens on that that Waco one that John Leguizamo was in. Uh, I, we've said it before, so like, but like he would have got me. Like I, I would have fallen for it for sure if I was single. Like if I didn't have like a family and shit. Like I was like, yeah, I'll join your cult. What else am I doing? You know, it's Tuesday. It's pretty good perks to be a cult leader. Think about it. It sucks if you're just in it though. Yeah, I don't know, man. As a member, not good. Leader, fucking a. I know. As a member, I mean, you're told where to be. You're told what to, what to wear, do. what to do. I mean, like that's Break that's it down. good. Yeah, but I, I feel you because you're saying structure. Yeah, you tell me where to be, and I'll do it. I, I'm I'm a soldier, you know. Soldier, soldier. Thought I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for a while, you know, like I just like because it'll, it'll be nice to know, like, 
uh, have a purpose in life. And how better to have a purpose than, than somebody say, this is your purpose. You know what I mean? Everything else is just guessing. I'm just guessing out here, you know? I don't know if I'm doing the right shit, you know? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, the way you just broke that down. Yeah, dude. Yo, touche, my boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh. Hey, if you're out there, coat me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let your boy. <laughs> but leave my wife out of this. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, Yo, that was a hard nine. Dude, imagine. Solid. Imagine if. Like, I don't know, man. Like, what if my wife was into that stuff and she convinced me? Mm. Hmm. Is there a female uh, cult leader? Has there ever been a female cult leader? <laughs> no. Why is that, you think? Because they're good at following directions. Not hold on, hold on. Let's ask Jexy. Is there a famous female cult leader? Oh, the most famous female cult leaders in the world. Sister Teresa. There's a few of them, huh? Mother Teresa. There's a list. Yeah. The most famous female cult leaders in the world. Trigger warning. This article discusses cult practices, no, sexual goods. assault, and suicide. Jesus. Okay. They can't be that famous because I heard I heard. Right. Anne Hamilton, Byrne, and the family. All right. Keep cruising. Australia can be proud, no, that horrified. Count. That one. Oh, it's Australia. That doesn't count. Okay. They're not real people over there. <laughs> <laughs> Teal Swan. Teal Swan. That's a good bad name. She admitted that she has <laughs> all the spanners in her toolbox to start a cult, but denies that she tightened those particular nuts yet. Ooh, oh, I like she's, that. She look kind of cute. Yeah, Teal Swan. She's kind of a little little fox. She could get it. Is that her signing? Yeah, that's a gay tattoo. Self-proclaimed spiritual teacher. Ma Anad Sheila in the Ran in the Raj Nishis. Yo, let's get Jeevan down here to translate. Any American cult leaders? Ew, no, man. Doesn't count. Doesn't count, man. Uriel of Uranus. Of you know. Yeah, you, there has to be something that yeah. cult leaders have, cult leaders, good ones have to that be attractive. It? They have yeah, to be attractive. That makes sense. They're not real people. Yeah, we don't listen to women. <laughs> Unless you're hot. Uh, <laughs> then yes. Or smart. Or you uh, got a gun. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Like, going back to the whole Ken's thing. Like, I think that was the one thing that made me nervous. I was like, dude, what if they're going to discover our content now? Like, what? Like, are we going to get ourselves in trouble? But they, never, they didn't really mention the podcast itself. We just talked like, oh, Luckily yeah. We, I had the shirt on. We do a podcast. Like, yeah. If you, didn't have the, if you didn't have the shirt on. <laughs> I if, pointed to it. That was the only plug. <laughs> if you didn't have the shirt on, like, they wouldn't even know, like, dude, man, homie, bro, which is, it's, it's But fine. like I said, I get why. It's cool that they, uh, that they promoted our comedy. Y'all need to get more clips, dude. We need to work on getting, you know, some fucking good looking clips, good sounding clips. Nah, I'm a Ew. street performer, dog. I do it for the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. It's understood. <laughs> yeah, y'all need to, y'all need to do more to help me get famous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patty, the kids thing, the joke about. I meant to say you not having a father. No, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I actually said parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you not think that was fucking wild? They aired that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the juice was juice was here two nights ago. Uh-huh. My boy Juice, he came in from Arizona. Back, uh, Jacob met him. He even goes, bro, it, it's wild they left that in there. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't think that was... I think... I for sure thought that was I like, think that was much. probably the only usable banter that we probably did, because I was saying some... I said bathhouse. I was like, how'd y'all meet? I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bathhouse. Really? I didn't hear that part. <laughs> when we were all three on there? Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we didn't use. I'm glad they didn't use that, because that would have been false information. <laughs> hmm. What the fuck's the matter with you? <laughs> and then we were ripping on each other and stuff. So I don't know what they, you know. I didn't rip on y'all. 
Are there bath houses? <laughs> are there bath houses in San Antonio? I don't know. I've you looked know. up Russian you bath know. houses. There you aren't. Uh, I looked up Russian. No, man. But I mean, again, we were, we did the whole hour and a half thing. It felt like it was about like a little over an hour, probably. It was set up and all that stuff, but and, Spa uh, Black. Oh, there's a bathhouse right across the street. Oh, uh-huh. is it by the Chinese restaurant? That's a medical spa. Oh, that sure. is a count. Sure. If you look at bathhouse in San Antonio, Texas, dunga, 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 yeah, dunga, 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 dunga. I'm looking for help with my prostate health. <laughs> Jack me off. And uh, no man. Um, Patty, are you, what, are you, what are you? 41 right now? 40. 40. <clears throat> oh, you're about to be next month. Next month, yeah, 41. I'm gonna be 30 in October. I might throw a little something. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stay at 40. I'm not gonna claim any. You're gonna be a panic. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Jehovah's now. Well, when you would be 45, are you going to get the old uh, finger up the... I don't know, man. I got to find a new doctor. I'm not really vibing with my doctor that I have now. You know, I don't want her... Different wavelengths? I don't, yeah, I don't want her in my Giant business man. and stuff. Yeah. What's weird about her, like, she tells me I need to quit smoking, but I could smell her fingers, and she's a smoker. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Did you I ask her? You've told us. No, I didn't ask her, but, like, yeah, I know, the, because, like, she's always, like, checking checking this out and stuff, like, looking for my... Swollen lip nodes and whatnot. Just ask, why, why can't we just have a cigarette over this? <laughs> yeah, dude. When's uh, the last time you went to the doctor? I go for it uh, regularly. Every other month, something. Every other two months, something. You know, I really? Haven't, I haven't been to the dentist in like... I need to do that. Years. You could tell, obviously. but I need to do that. Yeah, I need to see. I don't know. Dude, I, I, I have health insurance. I don't know what I'm bugging for. Yeah, if you have it, you got to use it. Yeah. I'm, I need to get to the... I might look into that after y'all boys leave. <laughs> like, who the fuck's my doctor? Let's get this motherfucker. Clock in, boys. You know who'd be tight as a doctor, but I wouldn't want him as a doctor now? Jones. Jonas. He's uh, Well, he's not that kind of doctor. He don't deal with people? <laughs> <laughs> he's a specialist of some sort. That's called a veterinarian, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. anesthesiologist. Yeah, he's a pain yeah. management, management doctor. He just Do all that. Sleep. He's right around the corner. Doctor feel good. <laughs> Like everything hurts. <laughs> yeah. Go to sleep. Uh, are you looking forward to that? The whole. Uh, all right. I was asking everyone at work if they've ever had a finger in the butt. I have not. Like medically speaking? Or no. Just like... <laughs> Fucking. Yeah. Um, am I looking forward to it? No. But I'm not against it. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, yeah. All right. So does it, like, are you going to bust? Do you bust when that happens? Jesus. Well, well, it's a because I was watching like remember how like on road trip, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, what I was yeah, gonna yeah, talk yeah. about. Like they do that thing where the nurse goes in and apparently his best come ever, and I'm just like, wow. So at that point, that's you have my attention. Well, they use but like. like a stethoscope, not a stethoscope. Um, they use like a scope, like it's a snake. Like they put it all the way up in your shit. Like, and your stomach hurts afterwards and all this shit. Like, it's crazy. Oh, that's, that's a, how they check your prostate? That's a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy, yeah. No, but no, they, we're they, just, about prostate check. they just do the fingers and they like... Oh. That's how you bust, like, bust, busto, busto. <laughs> oh, yeah, the G-spot or whatever. Right? I don't know where it's at. Jacob, I you know where. Okay. I, haven't, okay. I, haven't, I haven't tried. Um, I haven't. I haven't tried. I'm. Af- I'm afraid. Like, cause I'm, you're gonna love it. I'm. Yeah. I'm too old. To, <laughs> I'm, I'm too old to find new things about my body. Uh, but like, what if like it's a, like I found a new hobby? You know, that's way quicker. You like right now by doing this. This is like horseback. But if you stick that finger <laughs> in, bro, <laughs> you're on the seven forty seven, boy. What what's worse to do at work? <laughs> <laughs> Rub one out the old fashioned way. Well, that way is stealing more company time. Oh yeah, that's a whole that's a whole But here's the kicker. The other way, you gotta spend more time washing your hand. Very true. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm not too much into butt stuff. It's poop. It is poop. Too much poop. Yeah. I know there's stuff that comes out of the V, but it's not poop. Yeah, like I, I, I'm never not ready to take a shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's impossible. I gotta take a shit right now. I, have, I always have to take a shit. It's just like I don't, I can hold it. You know what I mean? Ugh. Is that a thing? And going back to that, like, what's normal? Doesn't everybody have to take a shit all the time? 
Not all the time. Not all the time. There's been a there's been a few times where I'm like, that was successful. Like everything's out of my system. <laughs> and I'll be walking all lightly and shit. <laughs> I was like, damn, gonna be a good day. But for the rest of it, I'm just like, all right, well, that's enough for now. I'll just finish the Jesus. rest of it later. Oh my god, dude. How I don't many, is, is that is that bad? That's shit. not normal. How how many shits do you take a day, you think? Uh but see, and I, I take them in, in periods. So I'll 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 I'm on the toilet at least six times a day. <laughs> no way. But yeah. that would be three actual whole ones. Yeah. One, one's always a false alarm. I was like, I guess I don't have to go right now. You have Crohn's disease? I don't think so. I think that's when you shit more. No, Crohn's more. is like you go. Yeah. I used to sling that shit. <laughs> like the, the fix for it, I used to sling it. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, Crohn's is like you're, you, you're always about to go. I just always feel like I have to go. Mm. You know? Isn't that I don't know? Isn't that normal? But what I'm saying is like I would be so bad at butt stuff because like occupied, you know. <laughs> yeah, dude. you can't go in there right now. <laughs> dude, Jake was here on Friday saying the grossest shit I've ever heard about butt stuff. Yes. What the fuck did I say? He talked about he shaved his back door. Oh yeah, you ever shaved your asshole before? No, dude, that's so funny. I was thinking about that too. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever, How gay are you? You should do it. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I heard bleaching assholes, I thought they were bleaching the hair, but they're bleaching. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I, I didn't know they were bleaching you the skin. You thought they were going to have bond tips? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were bleaching the skin. Oh. <laughs> For the longest time. I know, I, very recently. I'm not going to tell you how recent, but very recently I realized that like. I never thought of that. Yeah. When I thought like, oh, you get your asshole bleached? Like, oh, you got, you got a lot, that much hair back there? You got that much hair? Carpet back, back curtains. Uh... Why would you shave it? Shaving is so uncomfortable. That's like the worst part to shave. It's not that bad. <laughs> on your butt? I don't even like. I I I I, 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 they were bleaching the hair. I thought they were bleaching the hair uh, or on the asshole. Look, guys, I don't. <laughs> oh, woo! Thank you. That was good. <laughs> Why, like, I, 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 that's so wild. That's so wild that that's a thing. Like, they bleach the the, the skin. Woo. Like, don't hide your truth, man. <laughs> if you're a brunette, goddamn it, you're a brunette. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to know you've been places, you know? Like, don't. Uh, don't not, it's not like with a straight razor or like a razor you shave your face face with. It's like a an, like a trimmer, like an edger, like you know what I mean, like a like a clipper thing on your <laughs> butt. Is it a hole? It's not, well, the whole the it's not directly that I don't know what y'all's asshole hair is, but it, it doesn't the, come out of my asshole, but it's like right on the I don't know if it's on the walls. <laughs> the asshole. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the walls, dude. I don't fucking put it on my asshole. You know. I don't think I'm disturbingly hairy on my asshole. Y'all need to look at y'all's asshole more. Take a picture. I tried. I hurt my Set back to once. <laughs> I was like, I should get this bleach. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I would, I remember because like, uh, what was that bridesmaid? That bridesmaid movie where she's like, bridesmaids. I, I like getting, <laughs> I like getting my asshole bleached. And I was like, damn, did she just say she has a hairy ass? I think it was bridesmaids. Yeah. No. 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 So I think that's just when you like they. They um, wax it or something, right? Too no. They, well, they they what's that's bleaching Brazilian. then? They bleach the skin. The hole. They bleach so the yeah. Skin. So you have so, a lighter butthole. So it's not as brown. No, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah that's dude. what bleaching asshole is. Really? What'd you think, What'd it, you was? think it was? Oh, they're cleaning it. <laughs> like so, they're ready. That's called cleaning. So like, I thought bleached asshole is just like what? Yeah, because like naturally, it's like a little stain with age, you know. Like it, it goes it's like a redwood. Things. It goes through things. <laughs> it's got little rings around it. Tell you how old it is. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> redwood. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so they wanted to make it more uh, picture perfect, I guess. 
That's so they'll, they'll bleach the skin so it's not as dark. I always thought it was like a bikini wax cleaning type of thing, not actually making the skin lighter. Yeah. Holy they're shit. They're bleaching the skin. <laughs> they're, 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 give me the Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. I thought they were bleaching the hair. Give me the God Sosa. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen one that been through that procedure. Me either. Uh, I'm a fan of the original. You know, just OG Harry B. I love you just <laughs> the way you are. <laughs> I have a question for y'all. <clears throat> uh, I had the script. It's somewhere over there. I don't know where, but y'all can still get down to it if y'all want. Uh, one. Two, has there been like a movie that had like a wild ass line in it that kind of like made you laugh, even though I, it's not supposed to be that funny? Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Mm. Yes. It wasn't a wild ass line, but it was so simple. Go. Man Man on the Moon um, with Jim Carrey, where he's pretending to be Andy Kaufman. Um, well, he portrays Andy Kaufman. <clears throat> um, but then he actually, anyways. Um, Get so, to the show. <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. I know. So there's this one scene when he's in the club. And uh, like he's about to perform at a comedy club or whatever, so everyone's just like the announcers, like, "Ladies and gentlemen, please be quiet. Put out all your cigars. Like, don't uh, silence your cell phones. Whatever, all that shit." They're making announcements, and there's this old couple sitting at a table like this in a booth, and the wife, the old wife, takes the cigar out of the old man's mouth and sticks it in like the water, and he goes, he goes, he goes, "God damn, I paid ten bucks for that." <laughs> the way he said it, but <laughs> the way. He said it. <laughs> but that's supposed to be funny. <laughs> it made me laugh so much. What, no, what, but it was probably one of the hardest I've ever laughed before. I showed my mom. I showed my sister. <laughs> Did they laugh just as hard? No. Yeah. They were, they were tripping like how hard I was laughing, but I was like, dude, it was so goddamn funny. Yeah, dude. It was so <laughs> fucking funny. Bro. I got two in the chamber. Yeah. Oh what do you my got? God. The first one is Scarface. <sighs> when. Sosa and Scarface are talking on the phone after he, Scarface fucked up by not blowing up the guy with the kids. And Sosa goes, I told you not to fuck with me, you little monkey. Mm. Oh, yeah. That blew me up. <laughs> Two, Fast and the Furious one. Mm. Like, everyone likes to, nobody likes to tune it here, whatever. But what he says after that, he's like, for two ninety five, you get a double cheeseburger with fries. And he calls him a, <laughs> like a, yeah, yeah. the old school F word. Uh-huh. That one, I mean, I, I I cried when I heard that. So it wasn't intentionally to be funny. Yeah, but it just made it you just it, it got me. Tuna no crust. No, I, I mean, I'm maybe nothing like that. I like I've caught like little quick things here and there that made me laugh that like, a lot of people would miss. Uh, but no, I can't think of anything like that. That is fun though, to laugh at something that's not supposed, that's to, be supposed funny. to be funny. On Oppenheimer with the dude. Oh, did you see that? I haven't no. seen it yet, dude. I haven't seen it either. So how do you know? Because I saw the the little clip on uh, Instagram. Mm. Well, I went. To, I was supposed to go today at ten thirty. They already sold out long, yesterday. I heard it's a long movie. You really want to see that movie that bad? I love Three history hours. movies. Yes. It's like a boring fucking no. movie. And it's a guy that did Batman and shit. <clears throat> Interstellar, Inception. No. But there's a part where he he's like pushing the button. He was like three, two, one, and he pushes the button and it goes quiet. And some dude let one rip in uh. the theater. Huh. Spread out laughter. Hilarious. Nice, yeah. Old theater farts. Pretty funny. Can't beat that. Theater farts. All right. At what age do farts not be funny? Never. I hope never, man. Never. I, I can't, love, I love can't do it. I thought it was going to be funny. Uh, can you make yourself fart? No. Can you make yourself burp? I can make myself burp. <laughs> but yeah. I can't do like a, a drunk burp. Can you do the ABCs? No. Fuck, I can do, no not I can, even close. I can do the ABCs. Go ahead, white trash. Show off. Y'all want to? Is this audio? I can make myself fart. No, you can't. Mm, I mean, I shouldn't because, like I said, I'm always... Oh, you're going <laughs> to squirt. squirt. I got one in the chamber already. Like, uh-oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't be dropping none of that gold here. You take that. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. <laughs> yeah. I can't fuck up your bathroom. All right. It's going to happen. I don't know I don't know when, but it's going to happen. I would let you put the maintenance man. He's going to come here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll shit in the tub. <laughs> I don't like that. The maintenance dude just comes in whenever he's got keys. Like you know what I mean? I don't like that. No, that's not cool, man. You gotta tell him like you gotta call. You have to give like a twenty four hour notice. I thought, or unless it's an emergency, they have to call you. Yeah, they gotta let, let notify you. 
uh, I always say call first, but I always like have my the doors locked, the deadbolt oh, locked. Oh, and then she was like, "Hey, the maintenance man is just gonna um, like fix the light because my light bulb is out on my like in the back door." Did you so, complain? Yeah, I was like, "Hey, oh. this light's out or whatever." He's, and she tells me like, "Hey, he's gonna like fix it, but he, you don't have to be there. He's gonna jump like he's gonna go over your back fence or whatever." And I'm like, "What?" This is a heavy dude. Like I'm like. So you didn't go in your apartment at all? No, but I'm like, what the fuck? Don't fuck up the fence, then. Jesus Christ. He's not gonna fuck up the fence. What, he's got a ladder. How is he getting he's over that fence? Pay for all that. It's weird. Yeah. I know, but it's fucking. This fucking guy. Oh shit! It is kind of a kind of a tall fence. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? You, have to, you didn't have a gate door. No. But That's anyways, wild. yeah, it's fucking stupid. You got a gay door. You need to talk to them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has one. <laughs> Not anymore, folks. It's been, it's been sealed up, bricked up. <laughs> you bricked up your gay door? Brick and mortar, dude. Yeah. Jakey's um, in love with the law. I fought the law and the law won, dude. That's still a thing? It's still a thing. Nice. Damn. I lost. I'll pay you, I'll pay you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Baking rocks in the hot sun. <laughs> no, man, I guess uh, we can we can wrap up. That's Yo, the this was a first fire-ass episode. Episode and the new good one. Digs. Good one to be back in the new headquarters. New digs. Scotty uh, HQ. Yeah, man. Uh, so. LOL twentieth. LOL. LOL twenty seventh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come check us out. Check us out. Check us out. Uh, next Wednesday, uh, I'll be at Chifladas or Chifladas or something. With uh, the PMC boys. He is a uh, Jakey5 yeah. underscore at Jakey5 underscore. Every Friday night, Blind Tiger. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, BobaCoCore.com uh, at your homie Pat. And uh, yeah, man. Hit me up for shirts if you're looking for shirts. He's and, at uh, your homie Pat. At your homie Pat. At your homie Pat. All right. Uh, Love you. Good. Bye, shirts. Love you. Later.